external storage on iOS is really weird. Granted, now you can get iPads with up to 512 gigs of storage, so most don't need external storage. But there are some that do. There are no lightning external hard drives, so that's kind of out the window. And this can make things hard on people that have large photo libraries or work on big projects. You can use network storage, but I'm going to do a separate video on that. There's a lot of options there, and it, you really have to go into a lot of detail. And there's a lot of, you know, hard network settings and stuff that we would have to cover. So in this video, I found a solution I think I like, and it has a good middle ground. I personally like the lightning to USB flash drives. I really, really like the SanDisk lightning flash drive specifically. It starts at 32 gigs and goes all the way up to 256 gigs. You plug the device in and it'll prompt you to install the app. Sending files to the drive is really easy. You just use the share sheet. I like that, but hopefully very soon they will get drag and drop support because I think it would make it a lot more useful and I think it would fix a lot of the weird issues with it. And when I say issues, I don't mean it, you know, doesn't st it stops working or things like that but it feels very hacky having to go through the share sheet to send files, plus drag and drop support would bring multi-file and things like that. I, I think drag and drop would really help this kind of device. It can also automatically back up photos and videos, so if this is what you're wanting to use external storage for, this is a perfect device for you. It's also great for moving files between Mac and PC. I've done this a lot over the last couple months. I've been using this as my local backup for finished projects and unused videos I would like to save. One major downside that I just can't quite get over is the fact you can only create folders when you're copying drives. This makes it really hard to pre-built any sort of organization system into the drive. You can plug it into a Mac and do it that way, but you should be able to do it in the view files area of the app. This is far from a perfect solution. It's very cumbersome to move files around. And like I said, I think drag and drop would fix a lot of the issues that I'm having problems with, but I don't know if that's gonna be implemented anytime soon. I would like to see native external storage support built right into iOS, but I don't think that's gonna happen. More likely we're gonna get network drive support via the files app with third party integrations. I'll have all the products linked in the description below for you guys to check out. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.